Estamos en, oh, 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 aquí, ok. Es, uh, uh. es, es, uh, bueno, este edificio se llama, se llama El Alcázar. El Alcázar. Uh, I've got to let Susana in. Mm -hmm. I know last time she tried to join in, the software messed up for her. So hopefully we get everybody in. Okay. Uh, woo, I'm out of focus. Mm -hmm. Enfoque. Tengo que moverme un poquito. I got to move a little bit. Okay. Uh, este, eh, este edificio uh, se llama el Alcázar. Hay muchos Alcázares en España. There are lots of Alcázar places in Spain. Uh, all that Alcázar is is a famous, uh, kind of a fancy hybrid word really derived from uh, uh, kind of a, I'm not sure, is it a mix? Um, Moorish and Spanish. Alcázar just it means castle. So uh, lots of bigger cities have an Alcázar. Um, this one is in Segovia. Uh, this one's a pretty famous one. It was used a lot by uh, Fernando Nisabela. Quite a lot. Um, still has their royal thrones and all that hoo-ha. And um, anyway, it's said that this is one, although I know Neuschwanstein in, in Germany is supposed to be the real original. This is one thing that Disney looked at. We're building Disneyland. That Neuschwanstein, because, you know, that's the big German one in Bavaria. But anyway. Oh, donde and, es, es, donde es cas, casar? Do, where? Donde? Oh, donde? donde? En, Segov en Segovia, en España. En, en el centro del norte, Por el mí. centro del norte de España, central north area. In Spain, not not way south. We can see how green it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's a uh, actually a great uh, <clears throat> great place to visit if you ever get a chance. <laughs> If we ever get the chance, okay. Um, muy bien, vamos a empezar. We're going to begin. Uh, we may have a few people yet joining us, don't know, but we will start off now. I've got to kind of get my screens aligned here. Um, okay. A ver, uh, what we've got on tap for today day is a couple of things, some fun game related stuff to give you some practice, uh, some fun stuff with Ado and Ido, with uh, again suffixes that can help build your book vocabulary and how they work, so there will be a little lesson on that. Um, and we'll take a little review look at the reading from last week on the uh, uh, virtual tours, tours virtuales de museos, just to see if you had any questions on it. That little article had a lot of um, numbers, a lot of numbers. So um, actually, perhaps we should start with that first, primero, because actually that will uh, give you a chance to ask any questions, to Pronounce a few number words. Um, take a look at a title that's got a command in it. All that fun stuff. So let's take a quick look at that. And if you don't have it handy, no worries. Here it comes. Aquí viene. Recorra, recorra, recorra. Wow, it's got two double R's because the first R is, looks, uh, is pronounced like a double R when it leads off the word. Recorra means tour. Cruise around. Check it out. That's what recorre. Recorrer means to tour, to look around. Uh, recorra virtualmente estos dos increíbles museos cerrados, cerrados debido al coronavirus. And I'm going to highlight a couple of words here. Uh, if I can find my highlighter, here we go. Aquí vamos. Uh, cerrados, we're going to explain why that is, what it is later on. 
Uh, y esto sí, debido, también will highlight this as well. Ok, uh, debido al coronavirus, uh, lots of museums are doing virtual tours now because, of course, uh, no podemos viajar, we can't travel. Que lata, what a pain that is. Um, so, virtually tour these 12 incredible museums. Uh, oh, that are closed on account of coronavirus. Uh, we're going to take a look later today or later tonight at what that word cerrado really comes from and what that word debido comes from. Cerrados, closed. Okay, you know the word cerrar, cerrar, verdad? Uh, cerrar and uh, debido comes from deber. Deber means to, it means many things. It can be translated as should or ought to. Uh, it can also be translated as to owe, like to owe money, to owe a favor. So in this sense, debido means owing to. We would commonly say in conversation, because of. Okay. Uh, okay. Vamos a ver. No vamos a leer todo. We're not going to read this all. But we're going to see if you had any questions about what this is about. We'll maybe pronounce some of the uh, numbers, the bigger numbers as kind of a preview thing to get a little bit of practice. And we're not going to go into small groups today because we had too many problems last week and I'm kind of holding my breath on that, um, waiting another week till we do that. Okay. Um, bien. Hay preguntas, any questions on what you see on the screen? Any words that look weird? Oh, I'm going to start to highlight more words that are part of this group that we're going to study tonight. Ah. Well, cerrados we've already underlined, but we'll do it again. Están cerrados. They're closed. And there's our debido again. Ah. Confinados. Confinados. Bien. Um, I'll be a good doobie. I'll highlight everything that's going to follow from our <laughs> lesson. <laughs> uh, majority of art galleries and museums are closed at this moment owing to the coronavirus. And uh, we're all confinados. We're all confined. Confined. Okay. En casa. Uh, ¿Qué podemos hacer? La re respuesta, visitar vir uh, visitas virtuales o en línea uh, en, uh, o a los museos. Okay. And uh, notice these are not ando, A-N-D-O. You remember what ando is, right? Ando is our equivalent to I-N-G, right? Mm -hmm. Endo is our equivalent to ing. These are really, really close, but it's missing that n, 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 that n, -a, the n. It's not the same thing as ando, yendo. Okay. Um, el coronavirus es una enfermedad parecida, parecida. Parecer means to seem. Parecida. Similar to, we would need two words to say that in English. Parecida. Okay. A la influenza o gripe. Uh, pues, well, that's a weak description of it. But, ah, comenzó en China y está enfermando a las personas por todo el mundo. And notice, enfermando has an N. So that is not the same thing at all. That ing suffix, ando, is not at all the same thing as our ado and ido. Even though they're only one letter, uh, there's only one letter of difference. Okay. Um, 
aliado. There is another word that's similar to this. Uh, ya se había aliado. Uh, Google has already allied with, partnered up with. Ah, okay. Let's look at our two num numbers, dos números. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice 2019? Por ejemplo. Dos mil. Dos, dos mil diecinueve. Bien, dos mil diecinueve. Ok. Uh, ok. Two thousand five hundred. El número de museos es two thousand five hundred. ¿Cómo se dice two thousand five hundred? Dos mil quinientos. Dos mil quinientos. Fantástico. Quinientos, quinientos es... El número más difícil es el número que no sigue la regla. Does not follow that uh, uh, rule, right? 500, 500, no es 500, 500. 2,500, ok. Uh, uh, recorridos, recorridos. Here's another preview of one of our words from practice tonight. Recorridos. Um, to, in order to offer uh, tours, here it means tours, online. Recorridos en línea. Um, ah, oh, and this alliance between uh, Google and the museums uh, se dio muchos, uh, mucho antes de que el coronavirus empezara. It, it began much, much before, much longer before the pandemic began to get people sick. Okay. Uh, algunos amantes del arte dirán, dirán es futuro, just so you know. That comes from decir. Uh, some art lovers will say that nothing is better than seeing a work of art in person. Okay. Y es la verdad. Uh, tienen razón, they are right. Pero un recorrido en línea es mejor que nada. Oh, uh, a tour online is better than nothing. <laughs> Mejor que nada, better than nothing. Okay. Uh, y entonces tenemos una lista. Galería Nacional de Arte en Washington, D.C. Ah, cuántas obras de arte tiene? Mm. How many works of art does it have? ¿Cómo se dice? 42,000. Because that period well, is really our comma. Welcome to Dogs. Well, rent a dos mil. Uh, 42,000. 42,000. Obras significa, uh, significa works. Obras de arte, art, works of art. Okay. Uh, oh, Vermeer, un artista famoso. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Uh, uh, Vermeer, el maestro holandés, the, the Dutch master, del siglo XVII. And notice again, they like uh, we talked about a couple weeks back, they will not say 17th century. They'll just say century, siglo XVII. They'll just use the regular counting number. We would say 17th. Okay, and above 10, once you get over 10, they don't use 11th, 12th. They just start using the counting numbers, 11, 12. So this is just 17. Okay, uh, creando, and this is creating, uh, but it's not the same as ado, that's the N word. Creando moda para una nación. Uh, creating style for a nation. Uh, ooh, un breve repaso de las modas estadounidense. Oh, a brief review of United States or U.S. Uh, fashions uh, from 1740 to 9, or 1895. ¿Cómo se dice 1740? El año. We can't say 17 and 40. Es? Yeah. Mil. Yeah. Mil. Yeah. Mil. Setecientos. Cuarenta. Hasta 1895. Ah. Mil ochocientos. Ochocientos. Noventa y cinco. Noventa y cinco. Mil setecientos cuarenta hasta mil ochocientos noventa y cinco. 
years have to be said as thousand. We can't break it up into 18 and 95. The French do that, Spanish does not. <laughs> okay. Uh, excelente. Galería Nacional de Retratos. Retratos son portraits. Portraits. Uh, del Smithsoniano. I'm surprised they termed that at Smithsoniano. Usually they leave the names alone. Okay. Um, ha estado, has been. Oh, yeah. We've got one of those other words again. Ha estado especialmente llena, has been especially full, llena de gente. Durante los últimos años. Ahí están los uh, famosos retratos del expresidente Barack Obama y la de ex primera dama, uh, Michelle Obama. Uh, puede visitar esas obras en dos exposiciones en líneas tituladas. Here's another example of our ados and idos words. Tituladas entitled. Entitled. We'll come back to this after our lesson, just to see how they match up with other words. Okay. Museo de Arte Moderno. Oh, MoMA. This is the famous, es el famoso MoMA. Se dice MoMA en inglés. Uh, Museum of Modern Art. Museo de Arte Moderno en Español, Nueva York. El MoMA. Uh, tiene solo, ah, ¿cómo se dice? 129. ¿129? Veintinueve. Veintinueve, ciento piezas. 29. En una exposición virtual, uh, presenta un arti uh, una, una artista poco conocida. Conocida. Here's another one of our preview words. Uh, that uh, exhibit presents a little known artist. Poco conocida, llamada. Oh, here's another other word called Sophie Tabor Arp. No sé si pronuncia el apellido mal o no. Ella nació en Suiza. She was born in uh, Suiza, Switzerland. Uh, se convirtió en una figura central en importantes movimientos de arte moderno en la primera mitad. Primera mitad, first half. Here's a good, not a number, but a number related word. Half is mitad. Mitad. Primera mitad uh, del siglo XX. And again, siglo XX. We don't use 20th. Siglo XX. Okay, Museo Metropolitano de Arte de Nueva York, el MET, tiene a ah, 26 exposiciones en línea, ah, Moda Vermeer, ah, Haga Click es un mandato, Haga Click is how they say click on, you make a click, Haga Click, Haga Click en el botón, sí, para recorrer el museo uh, por sala y objeto. You can tour by uh, room, sala, objeto, by the object. Ok, Museo uh, Americano de Historia Natural en Nueva York. Muchos museos en Nueva York, pero es un museo de uh, historia natural, no es de arte. ¡Ah, divertidos! Here comes another, another, ido, ido word. Um, divertido, fun, diverting, if you will, in the sense of being entertaining. Okay. Uh, pa, 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 ventanas a la naturaleza, muestra el famosos dioramas de hábitats de museos, uh, esqueleto de Oh, uh, this I believe is supposed to be Tyrannosaurio. I believe they've got a, a, the second T where it should be an R, Tyrannosaurus. Y un zafiro, zafiro es sapphire. Un zafiro de, ah, oh, ha, quilates, carrots. Carrots, no como el vegetal, not like the veggie. Uh, como <laughs> carrots of a, yeah, of, yeah a stone, okay. ¿Cuántos quilates? 
¿Cómo se pronuncia así eh, este número? 563. 563. 563. 563 quilates, carrots. Oh, we got another thing. Oh, conocido, not conocida, but conocido. Uh, known as, ah, la estrella de la India, the star of India. Okay. Museo de Bellas Artes de Boston. Uh, una gran colección de 16 exposiciones en línea. Uh, una de ellas es una mirada. Mirada is another, uh, although either word, although it's not used quite in the same way as the other ones. We'll talk about that why later. Uh, Conservación de abanicos. Abanicos es fans, what you use to cool yourself off, see? Uh, Nueva Inglaterra, New England, fue el centro de la industria textil de los Estados Unidos. La colección del museo incluye unos, ah, ¿cómo se dice? 600 fans. 600. 600. Abanicos. Y va uh, desde el año 2000 uh, hasta principios del uh, siglo XX. Uh, hace es antes de Cristo. BC. Ah, hace es, es BC. Antes de Cristo, before Christ. BC, we call it. And actually now they change how they use all those letters for BC and, and AD. And, but anyway, okay. Institutos de Artes de Detroit. Ah, otra vez conocido, conocido, is especially known por su relación con el gran artista mexicano Diego Rivera y su esposa Frida Kahlo. Uh, oddly enough, you would not think uh, to equate maybe Detroit with Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo. Uh, Diego Rivera fue un artista mexicano muy, muy, muy famoso, famosísimo. Uh, Pintó murallas, murales, he painted murals, he specialized in murals, and it was actually a highly controversial guy um, due to being comunista. Okay. Um, okay. Ah, el museo tiene tres exposiciones dedicadas, dedicadas, dedicated a los murales de Rivera y las pinturas de Calo. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Ok, Instituto de Arte de Chicago. Uh, el, ah, here we got an yendo. Eligiendo is choosing. Eligiendo arte moderno, por ejemplo. You can uh, explore this collection online uh, by theme. Choosing modern art, for example. Eligiendo, elegir es to choose. Uh, okay. Okay. No, no tengo más ejemplos. El J. Paul Getty Museo, uh, Los Ángeles, California. Uh, el Getty necesito espacio, ofrece formas para explorar en línea su colección de, ah, 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. You're not, but as if you were. Um, okay. Uh, tal vez disfrute la exposición. Tal vez es perhaps. Perhaps enjoy the exposition. Oh! Eat, drink, and be happy. Comer, beber, y ser feliz. La comida en la Edad Media y el renacimiento. Uh, renacimiento. Uh, food in the Middle Ages and the... Renaissance. Renaissance, renacimiento, because renaci part is the re being reborn. Renaissance. Um, okay. Cerrado. We've got another ado word coming up here. Okay. 
A ver. Uh, comida is not quite like the others. It is a noun, so we'll pass by that one. Um, puede hacerse una idea de cómo comía y bebía la gente uh, hace cientos de años. You can get an idea of how people used to eat and drink hundreds of years ago. Hace cientos de años there means ago. Uh, okay. Uh, Hi, Museum of Art Atlanta. El Hi es famoso por su colección de fotografías, especialmente por sus fotos del movimiento por los derechos civiles. So, civil rights uh, photographs, civil rights movement. Uh, we don't have any of the grammar examples. No hay números. Fotografía sobre los derechos civiles es una de las cuatro exposiciones en línea. Ah, 300 photos. 300. 300 fotografías desde el arresto de Rosa Parks hasta las demostraciones y a, a finales de la década de ah, 1960. Uh, why is it finales and not just fin? Um, oh, uh, finales is un poquito difícil. Finales uh, means towards the end of instead of just the end. So finales would be saying like the last few. Not a lot of difference between fin and final. A final, a finales, and there you have to look at that as a finales. A finales towards the end of the decade of 1960. Uh, 1960. Uh, 60. Oh? Okay. Uh, Museo de Bellas Artes de Houston. Uh, una docena de exposiciones en línea. Uh, deberían visitar Ciudad del Espacio, City of Space. Uh, la fascinación de la humanidad por el espacio. Oh, fascination of humanity with space and exploration. Ok, y por fin creo que es el último uh, museo. Sí, Giorgio O'Keefe Museum en Santa Fe, Nuevo México. Ma ah, está más cerca de nosotros. Closer to us. Uh, esta fa famosa artista creo imágenes sobre la muerte, como lo muestran todas sus piezas de cráneos de ganado. And their ganado it means uh, uh, cattle. It's not like the other other words. It is actually a noun. Ganado means cattle. And you know, um, if you have ever seen Georgia O'Keeffe stuff, she focus on, focuses on nature and la naturaleza. She's got lots of uh, uh, Skull pictures of desert animals and large, you know, really large uh, flowers from the southwest, all that sort of thing. Aún así, su arte tiene una cualidad de tranquilidad. Esto podría ser justo lo que necesitamos. This is just what we needed. Uh, okay. No pierda sus acuarelas. Don't miss their uh, watercolors, acuarelas. Okay. Um, ¿Entienden todo? ¿Tienen preguntas de, de algo en el artículo que quizás no estaba tan claro? Anything that wasn't too clear? ¿O no? No? Ok. We're just going to scroll through. Let's see how many times in one article they used an ado or neither word. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, dieciséis, si no contamos el título. Sixteen ado ido words. So we're going to come back to look at that a little bit later to show you how we form these words. You probably guessed some of it, but there are going to be a couple of uses. Okay. Um, no hay preguntas, ¿verdad? Okay. Bien. Vamos a empezar. We're going to begin with a little, uh, little game. Un, un juego. Uh, I will show you what we're going to have. 
it is uh it is a shout it out game for tonight and it's a game about numbers es un juego sobre los números uh, vamos a ver um Share screen. Aquí vamos. Ok. Adivinen el precio. Pueden ver. Can everybody see? Sí. 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 Adivinen el precio. Sí. Guess the price. Oh. <laughs> ¿Cuánto cuesta? O ¿cuánto cuestan? It might be plural stuff. It might be singular stuff. We're going to work up from easier stuff to harder stuff. Uh, vamos a empezar con cosas más fáciles y un poquito más difícil en el segundo, uh, en la segunda parte y los más difíciles al, al fin. Uh, ok, dígame cuánto vale el, el artículo. Tell me how much the article is worth. And when I hear a price... I'm either going to call out baja el precio, which means lower the price. price. You need to go lower. Or I will respond with sube el precio. Raise the price. So I'm going to tell you if you're high or low. If you need to go lower, I'm going to tell you go lower. Baja el precio. Comprenden? Entienden? Hey. Okay, if you need to go higher, I'm going to tell you sube el precio. Okay, a ver. And feel free to kind of shout it out. I need to rearrange my screens just a little bit. Un poquito, perdón. And I also need to look at the answers. Ah, ah. ah necesito verlo. Las respuestas. So don't be shy. I know sometimes it's um, one of these things that it's you kind of feel funny yelling something out, but okay. Aquí vamos. Whoop, perdón. ¿Dónde está? I don't think you can see that yet, can you? No. 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 Perdón. Momentito. I've got two screens going on, so it's leading to my massive confusion. Aquí vamos. Okay. Ah, ahora funciona. Now it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a empezar con, con comida. En promoción, en promoción es on sale. ¿Está bien? Sí. On sale. Ok. El bistec. Eh, uy, ay, 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 I just ruined it. You <laughs> see the price? Momentito. <laughs> I just wrecked it. This is not like my wonderful old smart board I used to have. <laughs> I used to be able to nail stuff down. And I can't do that anymore. Ay, momentito. I don't know. I got all kinds of stuff messed up. Okay. Well, for those of you who have a photographic memory, yeah, it's going to be kind of wrecked, but <laughs> this is going to be our trial run. Para que sepan, just so you guys know, I used to have a wonderful system to uh, work with, which was a smart board, and it would let me put in like things to block things out. And it would nail those suckers down. I could tell it to nail it down. And no can do that anymore. Uy, a ver. Wow, this is extremely messed up. Okay. Okay. We'll just have to go with, okay, my kind of messed up screen. Ay, ya, 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 ya. Ok, vamos a ver. Not quite the same, but ok. Aquí tenemos, sí, el bistec, el bistec. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Por libra, by pound. 
en dólares? ¿Cien? ¿Qué? No, no, no. En, en dólares. Cinco dólares. ¿Cinco? Uh, cinco sube el precio. Sube el precio. ¿Ocho dólares? Uh, no. Mm. Uh, baja el precio. Ah, oh. Mm. Siete. <laughs> Siete, I will give you that one, sí. Uh, seis dólares noventa y nueve. Sí, siete. Mm. Más o menos. Casi, casi, almost. Ok. Las fresas, strawberries. ¿Cuánto cuestan las fresas? Ah, uh, um, tres dólares. No. Mm, sube el precio un poquito. Uh, sube el pre tres dólares sube el precio un poquito. Oh, it's too high. Mm, tres dólares veinte. Sube el precio un poquito más. Tres con veinte no. Sube el precio. Um, uh, this is... Tres con... Uh, cincuenta. ¿Otra vez? Tres con cincuenta. Tres con cincuenta. Tres con cincuenta. Tres con cincuenta. Sube el precio. Mm. Okay. Sube el precio. Tres con cincuenta sube. ¿Cuatro? ¿Cuatro dólares? Mm, baja el precio un poquito. Baja. Tres dólares y noventa nueve centavos. Ah, casi. We'll, we'll give you that one, ¿sí? Tres dólares con ochenta y ocho. Tres dólares con ochenta y ocho, ¿verdad? Tres con ochenta y ocho. Ok, vale, ok. Uh, sandía. Oh, sandía. Sandía, oh, no, perdón, manzanas, manzanas. We got uh, apples next. Las manzanas, ¿cuánto cuestan las manzanas? Por libra, by, for, per pound. ¿Orgánico o no? Oh. Uh, creo que no. No. Uh, creo que no son uh, manzanas orgánicas. Um, un dólar veinticinco. Un, un dólar veinticinco. Un dólar veinticinco sube el precio, sube. Un dólar cincuenta. Uh, un dólar, uh, perdón. A uh, un dólar cincuenta uh, sube el precio. Un dos dólares. Dos dólares baja el precio, baja. Un dólar setenta, setenta. Uh, sube el precio un poquito. Oh. Un dólar uh, dos dólares ochenta y ocho. A uh, un dólar. 88. Un dólar 88. Un dólar 88. Vamos a ver el eh, sandía. Uh, sandía. Sandía. A big one? Um, <laughs> una sandía. Oh, una, una sandía. sandía. Oh. Cada uno. Por una one. sandía. Cinco mm. dólares. Cinco dólares. ¿Cuánto? ¿Malay? No, I thought maybe tres dólares. Tres dólares, sí. Ah. Exactamente, sí. Ah. Cuesta tres dólares. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a seguir con algo más difícil, los aparatos do electrodomésticos. Mm. Oh. Oh, no sé. Ok, lavadora secadora, cada una, each one separately. Oh. Uh. No los dos, cada uno, each one. Cuatrocientos. Uh. 
<laughs> what brand? Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not going to go into uh, cents, by the way. These will be even dollars. Trescientos. Trescientos sube el precio. Sube el precio. Cinco cientos. Quinientos. Baja el precio. Baja el precio de quinientos. Cuatrocientos. Oh, yeah. Cuatro, cuatrocientos sube el precio. Sube. Cuatrocientos uh, cincuenta. Cuatrocientos cincuenta sube el precio. Cuatrocientos setenta. Cuatrocientos setenta. sube el precio. Mm -hmm. Uh, 90. 400. 400. 88. 88. <laughs> sube el precio. Sube el precio. Hmm. 490. 490. Sube el precio. Cuatrocientos noventa y nueve. Exacto. Cuatrocientos noventa y nueve. Cada uno, each one. Okay. Oh, cuarenta y nueve. Perdón, my mistake. Ooh. Escribí mal. Wow, I made a mistake in my transport. Well, see, you were closer at the beginning. Okay. Cuarenta y nueve. I ate. Uh, me equivoqué. I, I uh, typed in a wrong number uh, because of my terrible bad day that was happening. Okay. Uh, muy bien. Uh, lavaplatos. Un lavaplatos. Un lavaplatos es a uh, dishwasher. Uh, uh, what brand? De qué marca? ¿Qué marca? GE. GE. Okay. Es buena pregunta. Uh, 500. 500. Ah, 500. 500. Sube el precio. 500 sube el precio. Ah, 800. Ah, 800 baja el precio. Ah, 600. 600 baja el precio. Uh, uh, uh. Es, es. 540. 540 sube el precio. 560. 560 sube el precio. 599. Uh, 590. Uh, 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 ¿89? No, no, 99. 99, sí, eso es. Oh. 599. 599. Ok. La nevera, la nevera eh, es igual a refrigerador. Refrigerador es nevera. Se, pronuncia, ah, se llama refrigerador en el algunos do, dos mil. Dos mil. Dos mil. Dos mil baja el precio. Ok. Mil ocho noventa. Mil ochocientos. 1800 sube el precio, sube el precio. Oh, 1900 y, y um, 99. Exacto. Mil. 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 No, sí, mil. 999. Mil. 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 2000, that was close enough. I see, I, yo sé. Yo sé, sí, tienes razón. You are, you are right, sí. Okay. Casi, 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 almost. Okay. Um, y por fin, uh, en esta serie, uh, es serie eh, la estufa y el horno. Estufa, uh, stove, horno, oven. Hmm. ¿Verdad? 
500 500 sube el precio setecientos oh. setecientos baja el precio seiscientos seiscientos sube el precio seiscientos noventa y nueve que sí seiscientos noventa y nueve 699, 699, ok. Un portátil, a laptop. Ooh. Which brand? Oh, which oh. Brand? <laughs> yes. Sí, no estoy segura de la marca. No es, no es un Mac, no es un Mac. Okay. Uh, no es, no no es ba MacBook. Um, 500. 500, sube el precio. 700. 700, sube el precio. 2,000. 2,000, 2,000 baja el precio. 899. 899, <laughs> sube el precio, sube, sube. Sube. 999. 999 sube el precio. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. 1.200. 1.200 sube el precio. Uh. 1.500. 1.500. O oh, 500. Sí. 1.500 sube el precio. Sube. Mil setecientos. Mil setecientos sube el precio, sube. Oh, mil novecientos. Dos mil. Dos mil no, baja. Mil novecientos. Mil novecientos baja el precio. Mil novecientos baja el precio. Mil ochocientos nueve. Cincuenta. Uh, 1890. 99. 99, sí, siempre es 99, sí, sí. eso es. Uy, sí. Ok, sí, sí, sí es. Ok, y por fin, lo más difícil, un carro de marca Tesla. Oh, ¿cuánto vale un carro de marca Tesla? Esto es difícil. 30 mil. 30 mil, 30 mil sube el precio. 40 mil. 40 mil sube el precio. Mm -hmm. 60 mil. 60 mil. 60 mil baja el precio. 50 mil. 50 mil, 50 mil baja el precio, baja el precio. 45 mil. 45 mil, sube el precio. 48 mil. 48 mil, ah, sube el precio. Cuarenta mil novecientos noventa y nueve. Ah, uh, cuarenta, cuarenta mil novecientos noventa y nueve. Um, es, es, a mm, cuarenta, uh, cuarenta mil, no, 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 sube. Uh. Sube. Cuarenta mil. Cuarenta mil sube. Oh. No, cincuenta mil. Cincuenta no, baja. Baja. Ok. Cuarenta y nueve mil. 
49 mil baja el precio. 49 baja el precio. 40 y 80 mil. 40 y 80 es 40 and 80. Ay, ay. Oh, whoops, no, that's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> 48? Yeah, 40. 48. Sube. Sube el precio. Oh. So 48 mil quinientos. 48 mil quinientos. Sube el precio. 48,999. Um, Cassie, I, I have to give it to you this time. Uh, <laughs> casi, casi, casi. Oh, 48,999. Mm. Sí, uh, 990, 990. Qué difícil, ¿no? Sí. Ay. Dios mío, ok, muy bien, eso es todo, that's it for that right now, ok, aquí vamos, here we go, uh, voy a introducir, voy a introducir um, esta cosa de ado ido, ado ido, we're going to uh, introduce this ado ido thing, uh, we looked last week at roots and prefixes and how you can sometimes guess what a word means, even if you don't you know, have the possibility of looking it up. How can you guess at word meanings? And this is a huge, huge, huge key to understanding a lot of words that are descriptive words, uh, a lot of adjectives uh, in Spanish. Okay, and the way we uh, on, use that key to unlock the door is to take a look at what we mean by past participles. Gosh, that sounds boring. It sounds terrible. It's not terrible. No es terrible. Es algo muy útil. It is super, super useful. And don't feel you have to take copious notes because you're going to get the file to this whole thing. It's a whole series of files. And uh, it probably is better for you to be a uh, sponge. Sean esponjas, be sponges. Just sort of watch and, and absorb right now. now. If you want to jot a couple quick notes, fine, but don't feel you have to furiously write. Participios pasados. Uh, that's what we call past participles. Uh, most of us haven't seen this since fourth grade, so if you don't remember what they are, no worries. But you will use these more often than you think. All those ado ido things were what we call past participles. Well, what the heck is it? Okay, past participle is a word. It can be used two ways. And we're not going to look at that first way. It can be used in a compound tense. And all that means is that we're using two verbs together. Like I have watched every 007 movie with my husband. Have watched. That's what we call a compound tense because we're using have and watched. That's one use for a past participle. We're not doing that one tonight. We're doing the second half of it. We can use a past participle as an adjective. Is la cosa importante. Here is the big important thing, an adjective. Uh, but anyway, a past participle is a word that is formed from the infinitive. In English, it usually is formed by adding ed to the end. So to close, the past participle will be closed. And not closed as in she closed the door. That's a past uh, uh, past tense verb. Closed as in, the window is closed. So all these things that have ed, they're formed from a verb, but they're not, they're not describing somebody doing an action. They're describing a state 
a description of a thing. So essentially, we are taking a verb and turning it into something that will be an adjective, a describing word. So we're going to take an, a verb and turn it into a word to talk about or describe a noun. So here are how we form participles in English. To close becomes closed. The window is closed. To include becomes included. Um, tax is included. The tax doesn't do including, it just is included. Included describes that the tax is built in, right? Uh, cook, to cook becomes cooked. Um, meat cooked over a grill is better. We're describing how that meat is prepared. It's cooked over a grill. Okay, so all these easy things, even though they come from a verb, are actually used to describe a noun. And the way we use them is pretty similar in Spanish and in English, or the reasons that we use them. Uh, as a compound verb, we use it with to have plus a past participle, like I have talked, we have painted, mom has cooked. Okay, those are compound tenses. Uh, as an adjective, and this underline, is underlined because this is how we're going to look at it tonight, this altered verb will describe the noun. It won't really say that somebody is doing something, even though it comes from a verb. So here is what we're going to see. El café está cerrado. The café is closed. Closed. The café does not close something else. It doesn't do the action of, it is closed. Closed describes the state the café is in. It's the opposite of opened, right? And cerrado is describing el café. Therefore, it's got to go into a masculine form. Okay, el enchufe, enchufe is a plug. A cord that you have, you know, like the plug you use for an electronic device. El enchufe está incluido. The plug is included. included. Okay. The plug doesn't do the action of including something. It is included. That tells you that it's thrown into the box with the main device, right? Está incluido. Incluido is describing el enchufe. So it needs to go into a masculine, a singular form. Los platos cocinados con chiles son picantes. The dishes cooked with chiles are spicy. Cocinados means cooked, but I'm talking about the dishes. Los platos, those are the things that are cooked. So cocinados is really describing that word platos. And therefore it needs to go into a masculine and a plural form. Okay, follow me so far? Entienden? Facil, no? Okay, so as an adjective, this past participle, because it's not acting as a verb, verbs don't go masculine, feminine. But when it acts as a, an adjective, the pars, past participle, is going to be in a masculine or feminine form, in a singular or a plural form, depending on the noun it describes. Now, this past participle might follow the noun like a usual, normal adjective, or it might be used with the verb estar because it describes a condition. And I've got our previous examples. El café está cerrado. We use it with está to say it's in the state of being closed. El enchufe está incluido. Uh, the, the plug is in the state of being included, thrown in, in addition to the other stuff in the box, right? But we don't have está in this next one. We've just got the participle used, tagging along, like if you said los platos deliciosos. It's like any other old adjective. Los platos cocinados. Dishes cooked with chiles are spicy. So 
these participles might follow estar. They might not follow estar. They might follow like a normal adjective, like red or delicious or hot or, you know, whatever. Okay? Bien. So, es fácil formar. These are super easy to form. You drop the AR, ER, IR from the infinitive. You add ADO for AR verbs. You use IDO for ER and IR verbs. Yay! Okay, we're going to look just at the masculine singular form for now, right? Cerrar to become a past participle becomes cerrado. We get rid of the AR part here, right? We get rid of that. We add ado. Andien, cerrado. Closed. Incluir, incluido. Bien, okay. That's an IR verb. Vender, vendido. Sold. A cocinar, cocinado. Dormir, dormido. Asleep, asleep. A entender, entendido. Okay. Close, closed, include, included, sell, selled. No, we go call that sold, right? Yeah, we've got oddball things in English all over the place with these. Cook, cooked, yay, ed. Sleep, sleeped, no, asleep, in the state of being asleep. Would it be uh, slept? Wouldn't be slept. No, it won't be, uh, it'll only be slept if you say, uh, we have slept, we have never slept in a waterbed. Have slept is a verb, a compound tense. Then it will be slept. But used as an adjective, it will be asleep or sleeping. Un bebé dormido, un bebé dormido, a sleeping baby or a baby that's asleep. Okay, that's the difference. Entender, entendido, understand. We don't say understand it, we say understood. Good. So we got all kinds of oddball things in English with these. Okay. Uh, you do have to match the gender and the number to the noun. So, ado might become ada, it might become ados, it might become adas. Ido might be ido, or ida, or idos, or idas. Just like rojo, roja, rojos, rojas. Same thing. Masculine or feminine, singular and plural. So you can have four <coughs> different forms of these. And that matters because these words describe a noun. So just like you can't say la luz rojo, but rather la luz roja, you need to think about the gender of the noun, the thing or the person that you're describing. Okay? Yay. Uh, okay, we're going to stop our share for a minute. We're going to see if we can do just, just the masculine singular. We're not going to do all four forms. Let's see if you can just give me a past participle for comprar. Comprado. Comprado. Magnifico. For pagar. Pagado. 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 Bien. Mm -hmm. Fantástico. For llegar. Llegado. 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 For viajar. Viajado. 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 Muy bien. For lavar. Lavado. 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 Sí. Los platos lavados están en la cocina. The washed dishes are in the kitchen. Ah, tocar. Tocado. Tocado. Muy bien. Ok. Vale. Uh, perdón. Uh, pasar. Pasado. 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 Fantástico. Cocinar. Cocinado. Cocinado. Bien. Ah, empezar. 
STEM changes don't happen in bees. Huh? Ah, mm. So normally, you know, you'd have an IE, but no, we can't do that with parcels. Empezado. 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 Uh -huh. Muy bien. Empezado. Tomar. Tomado. 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 <laughs> bien. Tomado. Buscar. Tomado. Buscado. <laughs> Buscado. Buscado. Muy bien. Mirar. Mirado. 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 Muy bien. Ok. Usar. Usado. Usado. Un carro asado. Usado es as used car. ¿Verdad? Sí. Bien. Cantar. Cantar. Oh. Cantar. Sí. Cantar. Cantado. Cantado. Bien. Bailado. Oh, perdón. I'm sorry, we got two things hanging off each other. Bailar. Bailado. Bailado, ok. Excelente. Preparar. Preparado. Preparado, preparado. Ok, muy bien. A ver. Practicado. Practicado, practicado, practiced. Llevar. Llevado. 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 Muy bien. Ok. Uh, uh, sentarse. We're going to take off our C. Uy, difícil. Sentarse. We're going to take off the C. We're going to make it into a word that means seated. Sentado. 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 Ok. A ver. Ah. Dar. Uh. Dado. 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 Dado, yeah. Sí, 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 sí. Ok. Recordar. Recordado. 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 Remembered. Ah, bien. Ok. Uh, despertarse. That's reflexive, but to make the participle, we drop that little say off the end first. Despertado. Despertado. And despertado will mean awake. Just like dormido is asleep or sleeping, despertado is awake. Awakened. <laughs> you would say awake, right? Uh, ah, jugar. Jugado. Jugado. Jugado, ok. A ver. Bien, 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 bien. Ah, cerrado. Cerrado. Fácil, fácil. Ok. Encontrar. Found. Found. Encontrado, encontrado, encontrado y contar. Contado. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Contado. Contado, contado. Ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, el dinero ya está contado. The, the money is already counted. Está contado. It's counted up. Bien. Ok. Ok. A ver. AR verbs. Oh, ERIR verbs. Querer and no stem change. That IE does not come into play at all. Querer. Querido. 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 Querido, Querido could mean beloved. Querido can just be dear. Mi querido esposo, my dear husband. Oh, my Doesn't mean wanted. <laughs> it can mean wanted. It can mean wanted as well. So you listen for the context, right? Querido. Querido, okay? Uh, preferir. No stem change. Preferido. Preferido. Preferido es exactamente como favorito. Mm. This ah. is an, a, a synonym, an equivalent word to favorito. Preferido. Mm. Preferido. Ok, vale. Sí, pedir. Pedido. Pedido, ordered. Bien. Ok. Um, Entendido. 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 Bien. Bien. Ah, dormir. Dormido. Dormido. Bien, no. sí. Okay, and um, see, you think you're doing grammar, but you're not really. These become vocabulary words. Ah, we get rid of the say, 
and we say fun, fun, fun. Divertido. 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 Okay. Bien. Ah, repeated. Repetido. 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 Okay, we're going to take off our C. Perdido. 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 Lost. Lost. Yeah, this is really vocab, folks. It's not really. Sufrido. Sufrido. Suffered. <laughs> Meter. Um, metido. 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 Metido is kind of like poner, except it means to be put inside of something okay. else. Meter. Okay. Uh, compartir. Compartido. 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 Bien. Vale. Magnífico. Recibir. Recibido. Recibido. Fantástico. Leer. Leído. 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 We keep that leído, leído, muy bien. Ok, prometer. Prometido. Prometido, promised. Comer. Comido, Comido. Comido. eaten. Aprendido. Aprender. Aprendido. Aprendido, aprendido, vender. Vendido. Vendido, fantástico. Beber. Debido. Debido. Debido, fantástico, bien. Correr, corrido, corrido. corrido. a conocer, conocido. 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 Ok, and, and I can feel it. This is a Fred question coming, Federico. <laughs> can you do this with any verb? <laughs> si se puede. Yes, you can. You can literally do this with any verb. But remember, this isn't really grammar. This is showing you how to turn a verb into, instead of being an action, a description of something else. A description of a thing. Okay, we're going to take, we're going to go back to our share screen. And we're going to look at how these work together. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, dos lenguas habladas en el Perú son español y quechua. Two languages are spoken. spoken and not are spoken. I don't have an está, just spoken. Two languages spoken in Perú are Spanish and Quechua. Okay? Habladas has to go into feminine and plural because it is describing lenguas. Oh. Feminine plural. Okay. Languages spoken. Okay. Los carros vendidos en Arizona tienen el aire acondicionado. Hay dos. There are two. Two for one. It's a twofer. Yeah. I'm so the car cars sold in, in Arizona. Yeah. Arizona have air conditioning. Air, air conditioning, and the way they say air conditioning is not with an ing word at all. Acondicionado. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's what they use. Acondicionado is a participle. It's masculine because they like it. Vendidos. Uh, Masculine, plural, because carros. Okay, el plato preferido de mi papá, my dad's preferred, preferred. preferred dish. But you would probably say my dad's favorite dish. Favorite. But it does, yes, it does technically mean preferred. El plato preferido de mi papá es el pollo asado. Asar means to roast. Oh, roasted chicken. Roasted chicken. Ah. Roast, right, roast chicken, roasted chicken. Okay. So all these are words that come from verbs, but they're really descriptions. Okay. Uh, ooh, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and take a look again before we get into irregular things and look at all these words. Museums are closed. Wow, we used it with a star. This moment because of, owing to, debido. Well, that's hard to describe. It just means because of. 
owing to. Um, oh. Confinados confined. Uh, parecida, similar to. Because parecer means to seem. Here is one that actually, ooh, I should really take this off. This is what we call a compound tense. So you know, it is a compound tense because we're using it with haber. Have allied with or aligned with. Ooh, and I'm gonna pause a moment. Perdón. Excuse me for about one minute. Ponder this for about 30 seconds. Perdón. I put that on. I thought, timer on that? It's, no, I, I thought I had a timer on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when people don't mute, this is just like an office meeting. Yes. Don't say anything about the boss. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 10 30. Yes, this has been my day, perdón. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've all had them. We've all I had cook them. for Two sets of people in this household. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, recorridos there is just a noun. Oh, we're going to skip over that. Uh, tours. It means tours. Okay. Let's go back down. Ha estado. That's really a compound tense. Haber with estado. So we're going to pass that by. Uh, has been. Ha estado has been. Has been especially full. Okay. Here's a good example. Puede ver estas obras. You can see these works, meaning works of art, en dos exposiciones en línea tituladas. Titles? And really, oh, you know what? We're really not talking about obras. We're really talking about this. In two expositions online entitled, or given the title. Titular is to give a title to something. So tituladas gets a feminine plural form because it's talking about exposiciones. Feminine, more than one. Okay. Un artista. Un artista. Ah, it's not el artista. It's not un artista. It's un artista. So we know it's a lady who's an artist. Poco conocida. A little known. Conocida is referring back to artista, feminine, lady artist. So it needs to go in the feminine form. Llamada, called. We're still talking about a lady. Llamada goes into a feminine form. Okay. Sophie Tabor Arp doesn't do the yay calling. She's called. Yamada's talking about what her name is. So it's a feminine form. It's talking about a woman. Okay. Los museos. Museums. They're fun. Divertidos. Masculine plural because it's talking about museos. Right? Uh, we're going to come down here. Safiro, a sapphire. We tell how big it is. Conocido. The sapphire is known as, and it gets a title. It gets a special name. Conocido must be masculine and a single, a onesie, because it's talking about Safiro, a masculine singular noun, thing. This mirada actually, ooh, it's a noun. Una mirada, a look. Sometimes you will see these as nouns. Uh, conocido again, museo, museum, conocido, known. Ah, exposiciones, exposiciones dedicadas. Expositions, feminine word, plural word, so it gets dedicadas. Three expositions dedicated. Dedicated to, and they tell what? That it's made up of murales, murals. Okay? And here we've got an example of that compound tense, have closed. 
encerrado, so that's a verb, it's not an adjective. Y eso es todo. That's it for those examples. Está bien. Tienen preguntas. Got any questions so far? Um, question with the dedicadas. Would, wouldn't, why is that an AS instead of an OS or am I... Dedicadas, dedicadas. Ah, okay, okay. Because El Museo, El... Ah, but you have to look at... There are two nouns in that sentence. The museum has three expositions. And it's talking about expositions dedicated to the murals of these people. It's not talking about the museums. The expositions are dedicated to these people. And exposiciones is a feminine word. It's a plural word. Por eso, that's why. Okay. So, uh, and I'll, I'll resend the link with that with things underlined so you can see how... Those things play off of each other. Okay, está bien. Um, make sense? See. Sí. See. Sí. Sí. Okay. I'm going to show you one extra thing because I'm going to ask you to maybe include one or two examples of this in something next week. But before we do that, oops, uh, we're going to have to go back to. There's one really important part. I need to show you the very last two screens here. Sometimes English has weird past participles that are irregular. They're irregular because they don't use ed at the end. Like we don't say speak, we say spoken. spoken. We don't say seed, we say seen, because seed is a little thing you plant, right? We don't say heard, we say Heard. We don't Heard. say braked. We say broken. broken. We don't say understand. Dead. Understood. <laughs> we say understood, right? We don't say maked. We say made. Mm -hmm. All those things in English are irregular <clears throat> past participles because they don't follow the rule. And the rule in English is ed at the end. Okay. Spanish is going to have some of those, and sadly, they are some pretty common words. Don't feel you have to mm -hmm. copy these. These are irregular because they do not use the ado or the ido pattern. They don't. Sober will not be vido. It'll be visto. And these don't follow any pattern at all. They're just irregular, like spoken or understood. Don't follow any pattern at all. Uh, romper cannot be rompido. It's roto. Volver cannot be volvido. It's got to be vuelto. Cubrir cannot be cubrido. It's cubierto. So, seen, broken, returned, uh, covered. Okay, let's look at the next column. Hacer hecho. This is hecho made. M-A-D-E, not M-A-I-D, who cleans the room. M-A-D-E, hecho. You pick up a souvenir, you look at the bottom, is it hecho in China? It's made in China. <laughs> okay. Um, abrir does not become abrido. It's abierto. And that you know, you've seen abierto all the time, right? Store, little signs in stores, right? Abierto. Open. Poner cannot be ponido, it's puesto. Descubrir, because it's based on cubrir, becomes descubierto, discovered. Morir becomes muerto, dead. Decir becomes dicho, said or told. Escribir becomes escrito, written. So we have made, opened, put or placed, discovered, dead, uh, said or told, and written. And maybe I'll put those in in English so that you can see the contrast of what they actually mean. That would be and helpful. Sadly, okay, yeah, I will do yeah. that before I send it out to you guys. So these words are 
are sadly super, super common verbs that people use all the time that will not follow that ado ido pattern. So what I would like you to do is grab any old item sometime this week, talk about any old item, and use, or, or a photo, you can take a photograph as well, and describe that and pick one or two of these ado or ido words to describe that photograph or to describe that thing. Question, Marilyn. Si. The irregular ones, do they change in number and gender? They do. Okay. Of course. They do. Um, <laughs> of course. Okay. Por ejemplo, of course, of course. por ejemplo, por ejemplo. Ah, ah, mi teléfono no está abierto. Mi celular no está abierto. My phone is not opened up, right? Sí. Correcto. No está, no está abierto. Muy bien. Ah, ahora mi celular está abierto. Now my phone is. Is it open? Open. Open or on? Um, well, open your phone, turn on your phone. I don't know. But is it open with an ED or just it's open? Open or opened. Okay. It could be either, right? The store is open mm -hmm. at abierto. Uh, it, you don't have to use the irregulars. You can use regular words. And I will send you in the email a little example. So you totally understand what I want you to do. I don't want you to write a term paper. I want you to take one little item and use one or two words in your description that are a participle somehow. ¿Comprenden? Sí. Es sí. difícil. Sí. It's kind of hard, ¿no? Sí. Ok. Uh, por ejemplo, un ejemplo más, un ejemplo más. Uh, el vino, el vino, el vino bebido aquí en Estados Unidos viene de California. Wine drunk in the United States comes from California. El vino bebido en Estados Unidos. The wine drunk in the U.S. viene de California. Bien? Bien. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Un ejemplo, dos ejemplos, one or two examples. Uh, I'll send you a little written uh, example, so you know what I'm trying, what I'm talking about. It'll take some thought, because yeah. it's not like you know, rojo, grande, pequeño. <laughs> it's not quite like that, yeah. Um, but um, you know, you'll have the one article to look at. You'll have the slides to look at, and you can think of, and it can be any old thing or any old photograph of a thing. You know, if it's something, if you're not going to bring a whole car, if you want to show a picture of a car, that's fine. Está bien. ¿Entienden? Sí. ¿Perfecto? Sí. Perfecto. Sí. Ok. Bueno, son las siete y media. Son las siete y media. Uh, y es hora de, de salir. Time to go. Ok. Voy, voy a cerrar. Voy a cerrar el app. <laughs> ok. Está bien. Está bien. Sí. Ok. Está bien. Vale. Magnífico. Ok. Fue un placer. It was a pleasure. All right. Have a better day. Gracias. Uh, mejor, mejor día. Uh, mejor día, sí. Hasta este punto es mejor, sí. <laughs> claro, siempre. Ok. Está bien. Ok. Nos vemos uh, la semana que viene. La semana que viene, ¿verdad? Verdad. Verdad. Okay. Verdad. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.